Hi, I am Sukhata Mulik from Indian Institute of Science and today I will be presenting synchronization stability of three-phase grid connected inverters in weak grids. Conventional power distribution networks are catalyzed by unidirectional power flow. However, with the addition of distributed resources like solar, the direction of power flow in such networks is being altered. These distributed resources have the advantage of being operated as microgrids when disconnected from the main grid due to a fault. However, these microgrids form weaker grids owing to their higher grid impedance and thus are susceptible to instabilities at high grid currents. To demonstrate this instability, a simonic model is created wherein the grid is represented by an equivalent voltage source and an impedance and a DC source and an inverter is used to emulate the distributed generation which is operated based on frequency input as provided by an SRF PLL. It can be seen while the grid impedance of the simulation model is progressively increased, so is the disturbances at the output of the PLL. Beyond a certain value of grid impedance, the PLL can be seen to lose stability and desynchronize from the grid. For the grid connected system to be stable, the following constraints on the PLL parameters Kp and Ki need to be satisfied. It can be shown that the, as the value of Ki is progressively increased, a pair of complex conjugate poles of the system cross over to the right half plane leading to instability. This is also verified using hardware results as shown below. Experiments are performed on a lab setup where a three phase supply acts as the grid connection point. A DC source along with an inverter and its control are used to emulate the distributed resource. A LCL filter is used at the converter output to reduce the harmonics. Oscilloscopes and power analyzers are used for measurement purposes. An auto transformer is used to vary the grid voltage. Finally, the converter's output power is fed to the grid via a transformer. For real-time demonstration of this instability, the PLS KI value is increased for 50 milliseconds while the converter is running in grid feeding mode. The destabilizing impact of this increase is evident from the oscilloscope plot of the frequency output. This work has been carried out under Government of India's FIST program and a special thanks to IEEE IES for providing such an interactive platform via the SYPA contest.